Hi, Greg here with Home at Home, and we're looking at shapeometry. Shapeometry is a, a, a geometry puzzle uh, puzzle game uh, for individual, or you can play with other people. It's really good for grades two through eight. Uh, but even if you have someone who isn't in second grade, like Victoria is, it's really good to put the pieces together like a puzzle, uh, kind of put shapes and everything. It's really good for it's good for not only developing your math skills, but also just basic uh, critical thinking and also abstract reasoning and stuff like that. Uh, the actual uh, meat of it comes with all of these different pieces, colored either green or blue, uh, equal number of the same shapes for both of them. And it also comes with this really nice carry bag that you can take with you anywhere. It's also got a nice little mesh backing so you can take it to places like the beach uh, and be able to wash out all the sand and everything so you don't have to worry about taking it home with you. And it also comes with a stack of 50 challenge cards with a nice little ring on it so if you do have it in your car with you, you could, you know, actually, you know what, you can attach the cards onto the handle so it's all just together on one. Uh, so on each of these challenge cards, there's about 50 of them. And they're going anywhere from they go from beginner all the way up to genius level. Uh, it gives you two lists of shape: one for green, one for, one list for blue. And the object is to take the pieces and try and match them together into a shape that is similar or exactly the same. So, example: I have these two L shapes here and these two Z shapes here. And if I fit them together, then I actually create a shape that is the same and I can tell because if I lap them over top like this I can see that they're exactly the same and there's 50 different challenges and some of them are actually really tricky and first looking at this I thought that this is going to be pretty pretty straightforward pretty simple and it actually gets very very hard very very quickly but it's also entertaining and it, it's really good for keeping up those math skills for like over the summer uh, or it's a really fun way to study for a, a test or for the homework. It's a good way to visualize uh, geometry that I find. Uh, is there anything that you want to say, Victoria? Um, so, like Gregory said, these are pretty much not puzzles. They're just shapes that you can actually like build up to make like puzzles. So, I made a like little shaped puzzle here that's patterned mostly so I'm actually just having really much more fun than just usual <laughs> so I'm gonna sit down and test my wit against a couple of these puzzles and see how many I can get done uh, but thank you for joining us bye